final battle of the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising started on the eve of Passover of April 19th, 1943. Thousands of Nazis entered the Warsaw Ghetto and General Jurgen Stroop systematically burned and blew up the ghetto. Block by block, the ghetto was destroyed and the Jews rounded up and exterminated either on the spot or deported to concentration camps. The Nazi assault ended with the symbolic culmination of the demolition of the Great Synagogue of Warsaw on May 16th and the death of 56,065 people. The Warsaw Ghetto was established by German Governor General Hans Frank on October 16th, 1940. Frank ordered Jews in the Warsaw into the ghetto. 30% of Warsaw's population were Jews and they crammed into what was about 2.4% of the city's actual size. Now, apart from starvation and unemployment, disease was rampant throughout the Warsaw Ghetto. Many people died of typhus, TB, diphtheria, and cholera. Many people ask, why did the Jews not fight back? However, they did. In the beginning, the Jewish resistance fighters did not fight the SS because they thought that they were being sent to labor camps, not concentration camps. But eventually, the Jews realized this was part of the Nazi extermination and decided to revolt. The Jewish resistance was armed with revolvers, pistols, homemade explosives, and automatic machine guns smuggled into the ghetto or taken from the Germans. In the end, their resistance was futile against the Nazis Waffen SS and their Panzer Grenaders and five squads of Luftwaffe SS troops. The walls were guarded by Polish blue policemen. The ghetto was almost entirely leveled during the uprising. However, a number of buildings and streets did survive. Mostly in the small ghetto area, which had been closed earlier and was not involved in the fighting. In the aftermath of World War II, one million people died at Auschwitz. 360,000 people died at Majanek. 870,000 died at Treblinka. 250,000 died at Sobobor. And 600,000 people died at Belzec.